Hello, my Belgiers. Welcome, welcome back to the gamer. Welcome Where back we to LA Noir West. Tom, we started Manifest Destiny. We tailored. We tailed. Elsa. My sister got caught by tailing. How well did you know the owner? A Goldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you'd think. Young guys trying to adjust to normal life, getting mixed up in the wrong crowds. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone filled him full of holes. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off. That is very true. But I wonder what he did. Or if he's I wonder if this guy was part of uh, Courtney's scheme, which caused all these problems. Is that a bar? That's a bar. By the way, you can't just try to shoot him. You will die instantly. Alright. So, for real... You gotta wait for the ambulance, dude. Good, I'm glad someone's got me. Him throwing using a bar is very interesting. Bars? And he hasn't reloaded once. Bars only have like a box of 30 unless he has a uh, belt. You're covered, belt. LAPD, drop the gun now. Wow. Not even close. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Oh, I thought I hit him in the head. I thought I was going to miss for a second. I wonder why we're attacking a bus anyway. It doesn't really make much sense. Also, the game's got some cruel irony for me. There you are. One of the bars. It's one of the BARs. Yeah, they good. Nothing in your right po or left pocket, right pocket, okay. Phone number and restaurant table. Huh. Wait, that's where freaking we just saw that one guy at. I don't like that. I know that guy. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship. His name was on the manifest. But Looks like the Goldrick turn. wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? It's my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and started treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. Roy, shut up. Jeez. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. Mmm, I'm doubting that one. I was down at the 111 Club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. But it's a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. All right, what's the motive for shooting? 
Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? Well, somebody knows. The dead guy on the roof works for Mickey Cohen. Why would Cohen want you dead? Man, I don't know anything about Mickey Cohen or, or any of those gangsters. The pocketbook says otherwise. Your name was in the sniper's notebook. Level with me, Felix. Cohen thinks because we were on the boat, we have the morphine. Courtney's meeting those guys to sort it out. Oh, freak. I was right. Courtney Sheldon? Yeah. You remember Sheldon, don't you, Cole? Uh-uh. We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in L.A.? I saw his name on the manifest. Oh, He's been here a couple of months. Sure glad to see you got over your wounds, Lieutenant. I mean, Detective. Mmm. Pretty cool customer. He's been under fire before. You buying his story? Not for a minute. Uh, we have a game ball notification. That's always fun to see. What's the catch? Cole Phelps, batch 1247. There's gotta be a reason we gotta do this already. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Mmm. We're gonna have to Kelso now. Thanks. Fastest Google I've ever seen. Alright, Roy, let's get us over there. It's kind of weird that we're going to deal with Kelso now. You know the way. You can drive. Oh, the like the police station still right, highlighted. So why are we going for Kelso now? Jack was a company sergeant. Okay. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. It won't work. He's a tough customer. Well, yeah. Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. <gasps> How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. Pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. Uh. Alright, so we're going for an achievement with this guy. We haven't tried yet. Tell me about the Murph. Murphy? The Murphy? Do you know that there's a gang war going on in LA trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. Alright, so for the achievement, we have to use four intuition points in one interview. So let's go ahead and remove an answer. But the answer really is, he's, we're going to be bad here. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? You really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You better watch your mouth. <laughs> Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. Again, we're going to just remove all answers here. And there's no way to prove he's lying, so he's obviously truthful here. Then you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. The problem is, he's very good at telling some stuff. But again, he's telling the truth. I saw Felix Alvaro today. Good. How was he? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 BAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. 
Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? What? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me out. Man, I like Kelso a little bit here. What do you know about the Army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. Again, we'll move the answer. He's not telling the truth. There's nothing we can prove on him, so we're in doubt here. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, we just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Wait. Shooting Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majoski. Another name from the manifest? <sighs> Jack, you disappoint me. He has one job. How many more friends of yours are going to get plugged today? That's what I'm wanting to know. Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. I mean, he always sounded like he was a good sergeant of his company, but... That's not what we need. They just walked up and shot the man. Oh, that's Two of them officers, they went that way. Go on, get after him. Oh, that's bad. That's not a good start at all, but we'll make it work. Don't. He did it anyway. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. Hit him. Clear this asshole off the road. You can either try to clear him off the road like he suggests, or you can wait until they wreck. They will wreck eventually. There's no, there's nothing in any of the Keep way. it steady, and I'll try to bust his tires. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. And steer him off the tar. Well, trying, dude. Are we at the bus? Nah. Watch it. These guys aren't gonna go quiet. Open fire! Alright. Just give up, dude. Headshot. All right. So that's another one of our company men gone. If they find a way to take us down, I feel like well, we're not even involved into it, but I feel like they're gonna try to go after us next. What you got for me? Owen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. Oh no. We gotta save Sheldon. Oh boy. No, I'm not worried about his arm. I want his jacket. Probably has something else in his pocket. There we go. There's the manifest. What the heck? 
an LAPD file. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. Oh, by the way, newspaper time. Ooh, we need to see this. We have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brent Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Roy? Mayor? District Attorney? Who is this guy? And what does he want, Coral? The name's Roy Earl. Detective. Administrative Vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop, a hero from the war, who has let his beautiful Wait. wife and kids down, who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore, who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD and his commitment to the public we all serve. Could be all over the papers by tomorrow, and you would be off the hook. So what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer. He's gonna betray us. We're the scandal. I don't like that. You're behind the wheel. Uh, it's gonna post the office. I didn't realize they gave that away. And it's a simple clip. Like that. They're taking out all the guys from the ship. Why? How does that get them the dope? They obviously don't know who has the morphine, and they're waiting for someone to crack. I think they do know. They wait for Courtney. I'm pretty sure Courtney has it, but why are we giving the freak? Another cop down. Looking at me, something. I have no idea what this guy. Oh, headshot. Pretty quick and easy. What? <coughs> Tell Courtney. Bad, bad luck. Worth a try. God. So there's another Marine that gone. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Polar Bear Ice Company. They really did it. Wonder whether it was worth it. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? The other thing you can easily miss here is actually... No, I don't want his arm. This is another Marine. It's an easy miss clue, so we'll go ahead and get this out of the way, because we will... It, we need it. Looks like Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. They're taking out the fire team. But wait. In the newspaper previously... Beckett. Goldrick, Driscoll, these are good guys. Why did they get wrapped up in this thing? Because Courtney did. I think Kelsa's with them. Not everyone has their unwavering restraint in the face of ten. All right, Chinese more. theater time. We're going to the meeting place eventually, but this isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. This is just an insane story. So, we're about to get betrayed by Roy. Because Roy's a scumbag. We can obviously start telling that. And then... We're losing Marines left and right. Oh, come on! Two more? Get in close and steer him off the tar. You got a lot of money to play no around. good. We need to get closer. The freak? This is driving. Okay. I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. I have my foot down. Shoot. Shoot again. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Quit horsing around, Felt. Roll your... LAPD, put your hands in the air. You guys had one job and you failed. Two more dead. Are you serious? No, <laughs> Roy's hat's missing. He's got a big forehead like me. Cole does not look happy. But Colt's personality is really not doing a whole lot. Can you drive to this one? Alright, to Fine. the meeting Where place. Are we headed? See, we'll see how this goes. I just drilled that gun. Keep moving, I'll cover you. How many? Wait, are we being set up? Find some cover. Weapons on the ground now. Where is this guy? them 
that guy have a bar or did he have a Tommy gun? That sounds like a bar. That's a bar. Okay. We do need to use every single gun in the game, so it's might as well use this bar while we can. Wait, you're alive? Not anymore, you are. Stick your head out. Oh. Dang, this is insane. I'm gonna put out an APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that. APB Alpha, Car 11K, Car 11King, come in. Car 11K. 11 King. 11 K, go to Hollywood Station. Hey, Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct, Protocol 11K. I'll take that. Uh. Roger. Car 11 King en route. <laughs> that was, that was kind of funny. You know the way. Uh, you can drive. Do we know where we're going? So, fun fact. This is the last place. And we this is the only case where we don't have a conclusive answer. I'm going to shut up for the most part and let the game play out like I normally do. I will tell you the answers to the next question. Roy, in my office. It's please. both accusers. I'm working a major case. I'm not close, Cap. It's going to have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But Cap, something's not no right. No buts. This is more important. All right. Never find out. Why is he here? The grand jury case got thrown out. Now the DA wants. Sheldon, is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Cool Ridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. Tell me about the sick marines being targeted. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult, considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me and Phelps. You're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? The notes on the shooter's notebook. We know about your showdown with Cohen. We found notes on your guys. Cohen is hitting our old dude. He believes we have the morphine. I told him that we don't have it, and that's the truth, isn't it, Doc? I believe, Mr. Sheldon. I think he's telling the truth, Detective. He's correct because we do know. Not Cole wouldn't know this, but we know from reading the newspapers, Fontaine actually has it at this point. You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes, that's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. Again. So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? Beckett confession says otherwise. Beckett had a message for you before he died. Bad luck. It was worth a try. I feel bad about Beckett Phelps. He was a hard charger. Those guys deserve more. I don't blame them for taking their shot. Have you finished, Detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor. Good to see you. What? I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty pending a fitness review. What? What are you talking about? You heard the man, folks. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. Were? 
Absolute power corrupt, absolutely. You certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on? You're suspended, Phelps. And of your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife, your children, consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun, keep your head down until your board hearing. And I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? We knew this was coming. The newspaper told us. Unfortunately. Marie, listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave. You're upsetting the girl. Let me see them, Marie. They're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney, and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Marie. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. Suitcase? You didn't grab your suitcase. Are you serious? You're not doing this, buddy. This is what got you in trouble to begin with. It's a lot of wet. That's a lot of damage. But about stars, but your actions under your demotion prep for reassignment. It's good to have story, but we almost got the robbery stopped, but screw us, right? Next time we know into war, we're not going to the arson desk. I'll see you then.